But you the one that put it on Instagram, I think. What is good guys? You are joining me today as I take my first order on Uber Eats. It's 1.42 in the morning. That is coming from Buffalo Restaurant. It's only 0.6 miles away. That's very close. And you might be thinking like, what the hell are you doing? It's 1.42 in the morning and you're out trying to deliver kebabs. And it's like, yeah, I am, because I'm convinced there is money to be made at this hour. Not very many drivers like to stay up till this hour in Portsmouth because McDonald's closes in two minutes. So I'm here to pick up the scraps. <laughs> I've got a feeling there's gonna be an army. Oh, there's a little fox there. I've got a feeling there's gonna be an army of drunk people at Buffalo Restaurant because it's right next to all the bars that are currently closing. So let's go get this first order. Oh, guys, they're actually adding another £2.58 for another order going to sort of town way. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So that bumps our total up to £5.58 now for this uh, double order, which is actually not bad, not bad for a start at 1.44 in the morning. I wonder what we're going to see tonight. Anything interesting going to happen? I hope so. <laughs> Oh, well, Sorry guys, yeah, can I one, squeeze through please? One, two, Henry, three, four, five. Henry, there's a big guy back to the Hello. So I've got two Uber orders. Which one is it, Luke? Yeah. And Mark? Yes, please, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much, boss. Yeah, that's interesting. So the second order is actually just a chocolate, chocolate cake. <laughs> That is a very nice start though, both the orders ready straight away. We're only two minutes from the first customer as well, which is epic. Yeah, I really do like being out at this time, you know, the roads are just so quiet. Like, it's nice delivering, uh, you know, 6, 7 p.m. when you make all the money. But then it's just like, you spend half your time waiting inside restaurants, you're often in traffic. You know, I'm on the Hemiway bike today, but if I was on the moped, I'd have a lot of traffic behind me. So I think there's different benefits to each shift. It feels so good to be back on the Hemiway bike as well. I've not used this in ages. It's such a nice bike. And like, it's really different to that Engway bike, the P275 Pro that I used in my last video. Two very different bikes, but both got their own benefits. But it's so nice to be back on this one, I tell you that. Hi, is that Luke? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you have the pin please? Yes, yeah, 8719. 8719. Thank you, mate. Have a good yes, night, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, that was a nice, friendly customer. We got nine minutes to go to the next one. Uh, it's just the fudge cake, so don't need to be too worried about it going cold or anything like that. But yeah, I'll be interested to see how the rest of the shift goes. We're uh, probably going to stay out till around half three, which is probably a stupid idea because I've got a 12 hour shift at the restaurant I work in tomorrow. So that's not going to be fun. <laughs> Hiya, how are you doing, mate? Uh, do you have the code, please? Nice one. All right, so a small one, isn't it? <laughs> have a good one. But yeah, that was a nice start to the shift, to be fair. Made £5.58 in like 15 minutes. I'm just going to pass through this area to see if there's any uh, places open. I think Gida's shut their Uber Eats when uh, the clubs are kicking out. If you've got like Astoria, Mr. Miyagi's, or Tokyo Joe's it's called now on my left there. And just like thousands of people come out and I think they just get a bit overwhelmed. But yeah, the time is 2.01. We're going to wait until the next order comes in. I'm not really sure where to go. I should probably be a bit more tactical. I'm kind of just like free roaming around Portsmouth at the moment, but no, I need to come up with a plan because I can't be out of my house at 2 a.m. and not making money. So let's try and think of something. <laughs> so just by pure chance, I've logged on to Just Eat and there was actually an open run going for the next hour and a half, maybe. Can't actually say I've got quite bad eyesight, but that's good. We've got three apps running now. So triple the chance of an order, triple the chance of money. I feel a bit more positive about this whole uh, situation right now. So let's go head back into town, see what's happening down there. All right, guys, next order's in from Chicken Bun, uh, which is in town, paying 3.38, 2.1 miles. Nice, it's actually busy. <laughs> this is shocking. And yeah, 1.1 miles to Chicken Bun. Oh, 
tight. <laughs> Flip it now. I was everywhere in Pompey just being dug up at the moment, I swear. All right, we're gonna try and be in and out of this place because I'm not locking the bike up. Hello, bro. I got a chicken bun Uber, please. Thank you very much. Oh, it's such a good feeling when the order's ready and you don't actually have to lock up your bike. Best way to save time and money. And it's saying we've got four minutes, 1.1. 1 .1. That's pretty good. Flipping out, this is insanely, oh my God, no. That is insanely tight. How does anyone in a wheelchair even get through that? That is ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell? I'm amazed it's going this well, to be honest. I've not even been online for 30 minutes and I'm already on my third job. And this is what I was referencing at the start of the video. I'm here to pick up the scraps. Everyone's gone home now, Mackie's is closed. Well, the drivers have gone home because Mackie's is closed. But I'm here to take every little last delivery that pops up. Anyway, let's get on with this next job. We've got two minutes, 0 0.6. It's funny, I always leave my bike in that exact same spot when I deliver food to this building. Oh, no, I can hear someone in that lift. I'm just going to put the lock on it quick. <sighs> I've reviewed this lift way too many times. I really don't need to do it again, but yeah, it's good. What can I say? I shouldn't have to re-review the same lift twice. I've gone to the wrong floor. No. Open you. <laughs> don't know if that was risky or not. I don't know if the lift was actually going to stop when I <laughs> put my hand in it. Oh, come on, not another one of these lifts. Please just let me go to the destination. Oh, good. I thought I uh, broke the lift. <laughs> Hi, sorry about the way the lift was being funny. Uh, just, is there a code or anything? No, all good. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, as you can see there, we're about 30 minutes in on £8.96. Pretty good, you know. Can't complain about that. Like, sometimes I struggle to make minimum wage in these shifts at this time of day. Or night, rather. You know, it's really lucky that I live in a city like Portsmouth because I don't feel like I'm risking myself or it doesn't feel unsafe when I come out at this time. You know, it's 2.21 in the morning and I just feel comfortable just like cycling around, doing everything. Oops, someone right up my ass there. But then you compare it to places like London and again, I'll reference that same London Eats video where the phone snatcher was on him and it's just like, that's crazy, isn't it? How you just can't feel safe or you can't like have things. Well, I feel so lucky to live somewhere that's at least busy, but doesn't have that like non-stop threat of just crime happening to you. But anyway, we're getting a Deliveroo order in there. We're gonna go check that out and an Uber. Oh my gosh, it's all coming through. So the Deliveroo one is leaving the island of Portsmouth. So we're gonna reject that, even though it's paying over six pound. But then the Uber Eats is two and a half miles for three pounds. To be honest, that's just not good. Like, it's less than a pound a mile. So yeah, we'll decline that and then I'm sure something better is going to come through. Like I say, I'm back on all three apps now. All right, now that is an order that I will be taking. That's 1.6 miles for three pounds shell fratten. It's going not too far as well. Yeah, we'll do that. I believe it said customer verification, meaning Someone's probably ordered some alcohol or cigarettes, so we'll have to be ID in this customer. Hopefully they're not too, uh, not too rude about it. I know some people are, some people aren't. But at this time of the night, it really is just potluck. Like you could literally get matched with any kind of customer at this time. They could be polite, rude, quiet, shouting at you, like it just goes any way. Yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has bought me drinks on Buy Me A Coffee. I'm really sorry that I haven't uh, replied to some of them recently. I actually did do one in the video where I lost my £100 microphone, but then obviously <laughs> there was no audio and I didn't realise because I'd lost my microphone. So I'm going to have to redo those, but got absolutely no issue doing that. Really appreciate all the support for the channel. And if you guys want to do it, the link will be down below and you can get a drink. Buy me something I like, buy me something I don't like, whatever floats your boat. So Storm says, love the content, and I love seeing areas I'm familiar with due to my family living in the area. They have asked me to buy myself a caramel and hazelnut blonde roast latte from Starbucks, but this is all I can do for now, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hi, mate, uh, I've got an Uber order for 
Uh, Maggie, yeah. Uh, can I get a nice coffee for myself as well, please? Uh, yeah, just any of the fridge buttons. Yeah, that'd be great, mate. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just a little Starbucks one, that's fine, mate. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Turns out I will be getting the Starbucks one on this time. That's all they had. And they're offering me a Papa John's to take straight afterwards for 347, two and a half. Yeah, that's great, mate. 347, two and a half miles. Yeah, might as well. Good to be busy. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Nice, and we're two minutes from this one as well. So good. Nice, so we got the order, got myself the drink from Buy Me A Coffee, and we're only a minute away from this customer, then we got to go to Papa John's, which I think was like a two and a half mile job going back into town. So yeah, we're doing quite well. The jobs are consistent, which again, I just wasn't really expecting. But yeah, anyway, let's go deliver this. Uh, it was either a Pinot Grigio or a Sauvignon. I'm not too sure. I've only just started liking red wine myself. I'm not quite ready to make the jump to uh, white wine, but you never know. <laughs> My bad, I'll be uh, two seconds. No, that's okay. Um, sorry, can you have your ID ready when I come up, please? I've somehow managed to go to the wrong entrance. <laughs> have a great night, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, bye-bye. Sweet, that one is now done. And we got 0.7 of a mile to Papa John's Pizza. Has anyone seen that guy on TikTok who like makes pizza at Papa John? He's like, we're gonna put on the first cup of cheese and then the second cup of cheese. I just, I just find it funny. Like I make pizza at work, so it's just nice to see people doing it differently. Mate, this lift is next level. Come on, just let me out. <laughs> All right, we're at Papa John's. Looks like my order's ready. There's a couple pizzas there waiting. Hello, bro. Hello. Got order for Johnny? Johnny? Yes, please, yeah. All right, what are we looking at? Six minutes, 1.9 miles. God, it's quite optimistic. Am I on? Oh, I think I've got it set to car still for where I use the motorbike sometimes. Oh, mate, I've just switched it to a cycle route. It's taken off half a mile. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> the Papa John's customer. It's another student block, uh, which means I've actually got to wait for them to come down, but hopefully they're awake. They've told me to meet them in the lobby, but I'm not allowed inside. That's it, I've messaged this customer twice, but they're not answering the phone uh, or the text either. And there's like a seven minute countdown and I've done like nearly three of it. But I just don't really want to stand here for four minutes when I could be making money. Yeah, so that customer did eventually come down like four or five minutes later, a bit annoying. Uh, we've accepted a offer from Deliveroo, the first one from them from the night, paying £5.41, and it's going from a petrol station back to this area. And really amazingly, Deliveroo have actually put on, from 3 a.m. just till 4 a.m., they've put on a 1.3 boost, which is great, because that starts in like five minutes. So I kind of wish I got this order five minutes in the future, because then I would have got 30% more money, but are still pretty decent. We are close enough to shop and drive. I can click arrived, meaning I can see what we're picking up. It is, it is just one bottle of Prosecco Rosé. Thank you. What have we got? 11 minutes, 1.9 for this one. And then hopefully we'll start to get some more delivery jobs with that 30% fat boost on. Let's go get it. Anyway, let's go smash this Prosecco out. Not literally. just so unnecessary. Yeah, nice one. Can I see your ID, please, bro? Are you the one that picked it on Instagram, I think? Uh, yeah, I'll blow you out, though, bro. I don't post any, like, addresses or uh, faces no, or anything. I'm just asking. That's yeah. you, I'll... I'll see you on Instagram. Oh, cheers, bro. I appreciate that. I hardly ever get recognised, you know, especially at this time of night. But... You're the only one in Portsmouth going around with this. Be, it's pretty bait, isn't it, to be fair? <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good night, boss. Cheers. That's funny. I haven't been recognised by a customer at the door ever. I don't think that's ever happened. Get recognized by drivers on the street all the time. But uh, yeah, no, that's nice. 
<laughs> Must be doing something, right? All right, so the time is 3.13. I need to see if I can get some more jobs. I've got 17 minutes left on Just Eat, but we've got 47 minutes left of a massive boost of 1.3 on Deliveroo, and Uber Eats is just ticking away. And speak of the devil, there is a holy sh that's a £10.86 double. I need to work out which way I should go from here. Probably back this way. A £10.86 double, but I'm convinced one of those places is not open. We're going to take it anyway, because £10.86 is nothing to be uh, thrown away at this time of night. I knew there was a good uh, good reason to stay out. Yeah, so we got like four minutes till I uh, get to the first restaurant. Not sure which one it will be, actually. Probably Buffalo. But I was just curious to see what uh, you guys actually prefer. Do you, would you rather see me doing this on the e-bike or do you like me on the motorbike? Because I know they've, both of them are really nice in different ways. You know, I love the way that when I'm wearing the motorbike helmet and I put the camera on the helmet, you get like proper point of view. It follows everywhere I look. If I turn my head, you see it. Whereas if I turn my head when I've got this camera on, you couldn't tell, like it's just strapped to the chest. I'm gonna make videos with both always. That's always gonna be the gig. But uh, I'd just like to know personally what you guys actually prefer and what I can do to improve the channel. Is there any challenges you want to see? And don't worry, I am going to do this 24-hour shift. It's been top of my list for so long. But in the meantime, what else would you like to see? I would love in my entire frame. Hello, bro. Got uh, this one, please. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. All right, so it's saying we're 0.3 of a mile from Ugrika, which is the next restaurant, but I'm not convinced it's open. I'm pretty sure these guys close at like two or three. I'd be very surprised if they're open till like 4 a.m. But then saying that, the headlight is still, it is open. Oh my God. Hello, boss. Got delivery, delivery order, please. Uh, you sleep? Huh? You don't have any sleep? Uh, not today, bro. <laughs> no, because there's money to be made. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is oh, the money, yeah? This order's paying £10, you know? It's good. Take me like 20 minutes. All right, thank you. Have a good night. All right, first customers, one and a half miles. I'm actually amazed that they were open. So this is a legit £10 double. <laughs> this is actually going insanely well. Like, if you guys remember any of my other sort of like 3 a.m. shifts, I rarely scrape minimum wage, but today I think we're going to smash it. Oh, there's broken glass everywhere. Jesus Christ. There's probably still like broken glass left over from all the uh, Pompey celebrations. It was literally just outside here on my left. Uh, the Pompey team and, well, pretty much a fifth of the stadium ended up coming here and just chanting and singing. I put it on the screen now. It got a bit out of hand at times, but uh, it was just a couple people that were a bit stupid, but Everyone else that was there was actually really nice and just enjoying the moment, you know? I never get why people do that when they're drunk. They just like sit and like really, or stand in really like random places. Hiya, it's a uh, delivery. I'm, I think I'm outside. It's just, it's pitch black around here. It's quite hard to see. <laughs> Okay, because I'm exactly where you've put the blue marker, so uh, let me see. <laughs> All right, I'm glad I found you. <laughs> have, have a good night. <laughs> Cheers, bye bye. All right, that customer was <laughs> insanely difficult to find. This must be some like, I don't know, some Navy area. And for God's sake, I've done the same thing again. I've gone through the residence area. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyway, the next customer is only four minutes away, 0 0.7. I think the tiredness is getting the better of me. And to be fair, I've got flipping 12 hour shifts tomorrow. Where the, how the hell do you get out of here? It's just car park after car park. Oh, that looks like, that looks like main road. 
please, 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 please. Yes, we've made it out, thank God. Pizza at Link, you love to see that. All right, on to the next customer. Hopefully they're not watching me on the map thinking like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> That's exactly what I would be doing if I was ordering food and I just see the guy doing circles in cul-de-sacs. <laughs> I'd be like, what the hell? They're in the car like two minutes away. It's just like, <laughs> just went to the hassle of like, locking my bike outside, getting the lift all the way up here. It's just like, when you see I've arrived, why don't you just call me or text me? Why? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Strange thing to do. Nice one. So I don't know why he let me go all the way up to the top of the thing without saying anything, but yeah. All right, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you. All right, guys, the time is 3.44 been exactly two hours since I started my first job. We have managed to make £31.70. That's five Uber jobs and technically three Deliveroo jobs because that last one was a double. Amazing stuff. We're going to divide that by two. And I made £15.85. Can you imagine getting out on your bike at 1.44 in the morning and just being like, oh yeah, I'm going to make 15, nearly £16 an hour. I think that's so sick. Like, actually really happy with that. It's the first time I've ever come out at this time filming it and made a good wage. My next video, I will be back out on the V-Moto Soko CPX. So I know some of you guys are going to want to see that. And I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, it's been quite a struggle. The time is, yeah, 3.45 now. And Deliveroo are still pigging me off as... <laughs> Deliveroo are pigging me 14 pound orders at this point. I just cannot be asked anymore. I'm sorry. But look, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a lot of fun for me too. I'll see you in the next one.